Hello everybody and welcome for a good look around the exterior and the upper deck and cockpit of this lovely looking Cornish boat. Now as you can see we're nestled in the corner of the marina here and uh, she's looking really pretty. She's one of those very very lovely traditionally crafted boats and uh, she is very easy on the eye I think. So first things to notice as we uh, just drop down slightly we're just looking along her port side we can see that her hull is quite a faded colour so I think one of the first things I would do would uh, be to give that a good old polish to bring back some nice and shine and we can see the tow rail which is the uh, or the this, the strake, which is this uh, wooden section all the way along her upper deck, could do with a bit of uh, oiling or re renovation just to sort of uh, bring her uh, back and make her look really, really nice. But that's uh, quite an easy job. As you can see, we've got tiller steering. The tillers are away and stowed at the moment, so uh, that's not there, but we can see the arrangement, no problem at all. And as we come around the stern of the boat, you can see we've got a really lovely big cockpit and we'll go for a look in there very shortly but we'll carry on along the starboard side for now now you can see on the port and starboard sides here and here we've got a wooden seating there so you can sit there if the boat's healing over a little bit it might be somewhere to sit and uh, that is there designed to keep your bums a little bit warmer and a little bit less wet etc i do note there are no guardrails on this boat they tend not to put them on a boat of this size so we need to make sure we're staying in the boat so if you are sitting on the rails make sure you're tied on and uh, you've got your life jackets on etc etc but uh, carrying on along the starboard side you can see again we're quite faded but uh, i'm sure that will renovate really really nicely there's the odd dink and scratch here which is uh, going to be showing evidence of uh, kisses with the pontoon little scrapes etc in the past but that's all pretty much par for the course and moving forwards past the cockpit you can see we've got a lovely great big uh, cover here so, uh, so we've got a spray hood cockpit tent whatever you'd like to call it more of a spray hood with a cover over the rear companionway area there and uh, it looks like that uh, might be uh, slightly uh, it looks like we can use it in various different ways looks quite old um, I would assess there is some life left in it I do like the design um, we have got some small holes here and there and one of the front windows is blown out but I reckon that this would probably um, with some minor repairs give you some more some more life in the future but uh, that would be perhaps up to you to decide we can see along the starboard side here we've got uh, lines running aft to two brakes there we've got one line running aft along the port side as well so we can control the sails both sails from the cockpit with uh, negating the need to go forwards which is a, a good thing as we don't have the guardrails in this area but uh, she's a nice simple boat moving forwards looking onto the foredeck you can see we've got a lovely good size foredeck I mean there's, there's room for two to sit there if you like although you need to be careful and we've got the bowsprit set there um, to uh, enable the foresail to uh, pole out over the bow there really really lovely and uh, if I just uh, look as back along the side of the boat you can see from this angle just what a pretty thing she is her upper deck is nice and shiny and clean as i mentioned the hull could do with the polish and there's a little bit of woodwork or you could do a bit of varnish work etc on the seating but uh, other than that she's looking very very nice indeed now what i'll do is i'll just hop on board here we go and a little bit of movement because she, she is a smaller boat and we're here in the cockpit and the first thing to do is notice the main area of the cockpit here the seating area so we have a seat to starboard a seat to port and plenty of Room for your uh, legs and feet etc obviously and uh, generally feeling like we've got uh, lots of room in here we have a lazarette locker all the way across the uh, the uh, just in front of the engine here lots of room in there nice and deep plenty of room for fenders buckets anchors all that kind of stuff and uh, I do like the fact that uh, with the seating here we've got nice high cockpit combings here so whilst we're on a smaller boat we do feel like we're inside the boat and uh, this would give you some kind of protection from the weather, make you feel nice and secure and of course it's a bit of a backrest as well. Uh, just aft of those, either side of the uh, lazarette, we've got uh, a stowage here and here so that's where your uh, your bits and pieces, your binoculars, keys, all that kind of stuff can go in there nice and safely. And then just moving aft, we've got the engine, we've got a Tohatsu four-stroke six horsepower sitting in the engine well there so uh beauty of that is we can uh, we can steer with that um i think we can steer with that without using the rudder but we do have the uh the, the rudder tiller which will slot in here when we need that uh, but it's really nice and easy to access so we can take the cover off maintain put it back on we've got a kill cord down here too etc etc of course the downside to having the uh, the outboard here is that we're going to have the noise but the idea is that this is just on when we're coming in and out of the harbor so once we get into the uh, 
uh, out to sea and sailing that will be turned off and it will be gloriously quiet so but the benefits of it obviously are the ease of maintenance and ease of taking it away from its stowage if we want to which is really great so this has been tim from boat shed rock brokers taking you for a quick tour of the cockpit of this lovely cornish boat if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching